Hello guys, Shave Day here from PFM. Uh, this is my DX Tory settings video. Um, I figured somebody might get something out of this, so why not give it a shot? So here it is. Um, dead simply, DX Tory, great program for recording videos with uh, Battlefield 3, etc. Um, you can even use it for live streaming. So moving on very quickly, you can add certain programs to this so if you find you're getting the fps counter showing up on i don't know say windows live mail i, I once found it doing it in that you can ign you can choose to ignore it there and if the program's running at a time you'll find all the details you need in here okay moving on to the next tab uh i leave this one at use default setting but basically you can show your video video fps how fast it's writing in fps and also the recording status you can choose different colors um, you can choose different positions and so on but as I say I leave that one as default now the next one this is where you set up the two folders that you need first one for your video captures and the second one down here for your video uh, or for your screenshots rather so choose to click a bit to, to add a new folder now I've obviously already added one but I'll add a new one just to show it up so um, adding that folder I don't know how fast this drive is but I've added the folder so I'll then click uh, benchmark it there and we'll see how good that one is it actually looks like it's better than my other one at the moment so maybe then I'll be switching to that one so that's that one okay so I've now got a capture video uh, I've got two folders I can capture to okay and because they're both checked I can use both of them uh, but it will only use one um, it, unless I choose to use something called raw cap which I'll touch on a little later now the screenshots I'm not going to change that you click the box it's the usual story choose where your screen captures are to go um, and go from there so that's that one okay moving on set up your keys now this isn't the default setting although that's checked it's just so that when I change the profiles it will stay on this no matter what I can check that and it will allow me to use these as default so I set F9 just because I came from fraps um, and I set, in, I set print screen because I'm so used to hitting print screen to take a screenshot so that's that one okay moving on again uh, now I use a different codec I use the as you can see here the X264 VFW codec it keeps things very small file size wise um, and while the uh, you know the guys out there that really know their stuff might be able to notice some problems with the codec I never have and I know nobody else ever notices either so because no one ever notices it's worth using so you can go with DX Tory video codec and if you're gonna do that I would suggest changing the quality and, and checking compress okay but as I say I don't use that I do use this one so I'm gonna and I will link to this at the end of the video so here are my settings for this codec okay we go to preset and we select ultra fast okay and then we select fast decode and zero latency uh, you can leave rate control unless it isn't at single pass rate factor based CRF if it isn't then change it to that if it is then by order then just leave it as is okay rate factor I set 15 it gives you relatively good quality uh, with decent file sizes they're not stupidly oversized um, going down to the output mode we have VFW which should be there by default I'm, I'm pretty sure um, and then VFW 4CC is usually on H264 at default change that to X264 it won't go into uh, Sony Vegas otherwise and if you need to check virtual dub if you are using virtual dub okay um, um, next one set key int or dash dash key int 15 anything higher tends to be a little bit bigger on file sizes so therefore a lot longer to to render and again this is needed if you're using Sony Vegas Pro it won't go into Sony Vegas without it okay so that's the settings for the X264 uh, 
Now moving on, I don't touch any of these settings or these or any of these. Okay. Um, what I do change is the frame rate here. I change it to 30 because if I'm recording for YouTube, there isn't a lot of point recording much more than that. Okay. File output or direct show. Well, file output means it will record to a file. Direct show is for when wanting to stream that sort of thing. It will go straight into your streaming program by clicking that. Okay. Um, AVI format. Uh, I, I'm recording AVI. If I was, if I wanted to spread it across the two drives, then I'd perhaps choose raw cap, um, and that will save a file on each of the drives uh, for each frame. So, oh, sorry, a separate file for each uh, alternate frame. So, the first file will go on f on the first drive, and then the second frame on the next drive, and then the third frame on that drive, and so on. Okay. Uh, moving on, I don't touch this. Um, I change the size to 1280 for 720 uh, purely because that's what YouTube would show you so therefore there isn't a lot of point again recording any bigger than that okay so that's that one uh, here's my sound but that's down to whichever sound card you use so you choose where your sound is um, or which one would be the sound you want okay um, and then the next one my microphone, I set up my microphone, I don't use push to talk, I don't really need it, um, so that's that, and I don't touch any of these settings again, okay, screenshots, never touched it, don't really care about it, I, don't, I barely use screenshots at all, but it's there if you want it, okay, um, this one, I tend to change based on what game I'm doing at the time, so for example, at the moment, um, I may have say Battlefield 3 maybe or oh, it isn't but usually I have start movie capture when detected so when the program opens and Battlefield starts to record um, this will actually start or start Battlefield starts to play this will then automatically record for me okay um, haven't touched anything else I know you can change this um, and I intend to test this uh, because I used to have it up to uh, eight threads because my processor is an eight core processor um, so I'm now trying to figure out which is better because I did hear something about one being good enough so I want to test it as far as FPS and so on is concerned to see if there is any difference okay so I tend not to touch this um, but again completely up to you what you do there okay um, I have never touched this bit and I'm back to the to, to the DX Tory information. Um, I will link to DX Tory. I do own this program, so um, that's why you'll see license registered and and expire unlimited. I own it. I'm not sure why the error logs showing, but I'm not too fussed about that at this point. Um, so that's my DX Tory settings. Hopefully that's helped some of you. Um, if it has great do feel free to let me know if you have any questions leave them below um, and as always like and subscribe and thanks for watching uh, i'll see you again soon